What's up guys, Mike here. And uh, today I'm gonna make this video for everyone who's struggling to have weights at home. And um, you know, dumbbells are crazy right now. Um, everything, kettlebells, everything's crazy right now. I mean, it's ridiculous some of the prices I've seen online. Um, so years ago, I made these weights. I had 63 people in my boot camp, and I was like, crap, I don't have enough weights. Um, and that was nine years ago, and I decided I wanted to make some, some weighted sticks. So I went to Home Depot and purchased a bunch of uh, products and uh, made some weights. So I'm going to show you how to make those today, but I'm going to show you the end product first. I'm going to show you that these have lasted me nine years. This is them. Uh, I have a bunch more under the tarp over there, but uh, as you can see, uh, just your general old PVC pipe um, with caps on the end. Again, these are nine years old. I painted them like a camo. This is a girl's camo. This is three feet long, all right? Um, and I filled it with cement, all right? They're pretty sturdy. Um, this one here, this is three and a half feet long. You can see the cap broke off the end, but you can see there is cement in them. All right, three and a half feet long, right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to build those today. Um, if you're wondering how much they weigh, this three and a half foot one is 20 pounds, and that three foot one is about 15 pounds, just under 15. Um, now the amount that they weigh is based on your concrete mix and the mixture that you mix it up with, right? So I'll show you quick. All right, this is what I bought today. I got a couple more sticks back there. Um, I have two inch PVC. I already pre-cut these because this came in a 10-foot length. Boom, those are all 40 inches long, right? Uh, and then I got some little guys here. These are uh, one-inchers, okay? Um, I got three and a half feet on these two and then three feet on that one. These are going to be for some kids. All right, and then we just grab the caps, all right? These are one-inch caps that go on the ends, and these are two-inch caps that go on the end. Next, I just picked up a 60-pound concrete mix, you know, high strength just so it doesn't break inside. Um, I think that was like four bucks, maybe, right? And depending on your mixture and how much you uh, tap this and get all the air out, um, that's how much it's going to weigh, you know? And it really just depends on how much you really put on, put in there and mix. I got some uh, spray paint just to paint the outside. And I got a, just a generic plumbers glue to make sure we glue on these ends nice and tight all right um, before we get started what I like to do first is I'm going to glue one end of these on first on all of these and that way we have them secure at the bottom um, as we're filling them in with cement Alrighty, let's try to do this one-handed. Um, as we're going through and gluing this stuff, just be very careful. I know there's there's some plumbers watching. Uh, they're not going to be too happy with my form here, but uh, we just want to get this glued on and secure with one hand. Okay. There we go. And again, this isn't plumbing. We're not worried about like our house. Um, we just want to make sure that the cement doesn't come out the other side. So um, 
we're gonna do that to all six of these just on one end um, one thing I'd like to note is this is the size of a real barbell um, the problem with this is you can't make this heavy now you're more than welcome to use any length that you want and any width that you want and you're also more than welcome to fill it with whatever, whatever you want um, I found cement was the cheapest and easiest way um, to get something that's 20 pounds this thickness um, gets you 20 pounds but it is a little bit thick for some people to where it is a little bit cumbersome for some exercises and it kind of burns out the forearms um, so if you wanted to go somewhere in between these two and just make it longer you can still reach that 20 pounds or even maybe even more if you went these came in 10 feet so if you wanted to go 10 feet and fill it up with cement with this width or somewhere in between you're still going to get a decent weight to that um, my biggest issue is storing them somewhere uh, i'm not going to carry them around in my truck all the time but uh if you only have if you have a garage like a garage gym feel free to get about an inch and a half if you want to or even the inch they also have an inch and a quarter um and just go longer with the with the length and you can fill it up a little bit more with uh and and, and try to get that that same weight all right so as these guys are drying, uh, I'm going to start mixing the cement, and I'll get that ready now. All right, guys, uh, cement is mixed up. Um, again, this is going inside a PVC pipe, so, you know, you don't have to get the top-of-the-line stuff. You don't have to get super fancy with this, um, but you just got to make it kind of easier for yourself. Uh, helpers with me now um mix this up already now there's probably some construction guys that tell me exactly how much water to cement ratio and i'm sure it's on the bag look at 60 pound bag that's it um i mix it up to make it somewhat easier for me so i actually get it a little bit on the water more well what's that word watery side um i know that they try to tell you like uh you know, like consistency of peanut butter or whatever, but um, I don't know. You can see it's kind of still holding its shape there a little bit. But uh, now is the fun part because I've tried this many different ways with a funnel, uh, everything. Um, basically, we hand pack this and then we tamp it down like that. So we're going to do that now. I doubt my helper is going to help me with that part, but uh, we will show you how it's done. full you can see we're up to the top there almost uh, we got to tamp it down and get all that air out otherwise there are going to be some cracks in here and if you slam this down after it dries it's going to crack in half trust me I've seen it so just a few more tamps and uh, fill this back up and then we'll get started on the next one guys they're sitting here drying now uh, what happens is that some water rises to the top once you kind of tap them down um, that's fine um, it's going to sink back in as they start to dry and we can actually fill these up a little bit more as the space starts as it starts making some extra space you want uh, the least amount of air trapped in these because uh, it will cause them to crack a little bit all right guys so listen these things are almost dried up uh they're pretty heavy i'll be honest with you these are definitely heavier heavier than my last set um so like i said it all depends on 
your cement really what you're putting in there um, and your water to cement ratio um, I'm sure I know that there is some sort of uh, equation that you can find online you can see I'm just capping these on getting glue everywhere but whatever um, there is some air built up in there so this one wants to pop up so we just flip it over squish it down and let it dry these bad boys are definitely over 20 pounds which is awesome um, and it also depends on the length these are a little bit longer than the last set that I had made um, and you know that ratio in the cement is uh, is definitely gonna be heavy so I used a 60 pound bag filled up three big guys and three little guys and used almost all of it so that's what the deal is um, again these are pretty awesome you can do a bunch of stuff with this I have workout videos um, I have my seven days of workouts so if you haven't checked those out okay uh, you can do so much stuff with these and obviously you know you're not gonna be max rep uh, maxing out your weight unless you go real long on these bad boys which is fine if you want to make these longer and you got a place to store them then totally go longer because you can probably get you know 60 pounds uh, in one of these and then you'll be rocking and rolling curling 60 you can start doing some cool stuff with the shoulder press and all that stuff where you know for me I have to do you know 25 reps of these things to for to start burning but it's uh they're still really good for where we're at right now I mean you started doing two of these you got lateral raises with these bad boys and those will start burning about 15 okay so we're gonna paint these up make them look real pretty and I'll show you the end product soon any questions, just let me know. Drop a comment below. Alright guys, here they are. All painted up. Okay, i got a bunch over there still. I just wanted to show you finished product. Okay, I'm painting them white gray and black like camo I'll show you some pictures um, that's the big one here's the skinny one okay show you next to each other pretty cool not too bad in a day's work uh, I will weigh them at the gym but that big one seems a little bit more than 20 um, I'll post it in the comments on how much it really weighs and I'll weigh the little one too. Should probably be about 10, but I'll let you guys know. No excuses.